Hey guys, Trevor with Shadow Systems. Wanted to take a few minutes today and talk a little bit about slide design and slide serrations. So, obviously the custom Glock space has all kinds of crazy machining happening on slides. Um, I want to be clear, the, the machine work that we do is kind of function first. Uh, and by that I mean we're not just adding things because it looks cool. We're adding things because we know it improves the handling characteristic of the gun. And I want to explain how and why that's true. Okay, So on the table here, we've got um, a pre-production MR918 pistol, and then we've got like just a stock Glock. Okay, So obviously, huge differences in uh, the amount of machining on the slide. So the only thing you really have to hold on to with a Glock, of course, is in the rear. Um, and that's a little bit limiting in the sense that, first of all, you're restricted to grabbing in the rear of the slide if you're manipulating it. But it also means that if you want to do press checks or you want to do your manipulations from the front, uh, it's oh, quite a bit more difficult to do, especially their new NDLC finish. It's really pretty slippery. Okay, so compare that to a shadow slide that has gripping surfaces, pretty aggressive ones, wherever you're going to grab. And it's really like night and day. It makes this one feel like a bar of soap. Um, and I think it's important to remember that you're not just manipulating the gun to load it. Um, there are all kinds of reasons why you might be manipulating the gun. You might be doing a press check. Um, certainly, you might be doing a malfunction clearance drill if that were to happen. Um, you might be using these serrations if you're, if you're the kind of person that chooses not to use the slide release when you do a reload, but instead seats the magazine and then slingshots it. Um, those are all cases where you're really relying upon that gripping surface to improve your handling of the pistol, okay? So it does matter, um, but why are they shaped the way they're shaped? Well, so we've got a bunch of our slides on the table here, and I wanna kinda of talk about why they are the way they are and what the, the, designs, um, what the, the design decisions were. Okay, so these slides are all kinda of more of our premium slides. Um, this is a freshly machined MR918 slide, although you just saw it on the gun. Um, this is the uh, lead faucet tactical hybrid gripping surface slide, um, and then this is our sort of flagship model, the optics ready slide that's been um, a really, really good seller for us. Okay, so all of these slides are different from the ones over here because they're a little more expensive, and the main reason they're more expensive is they're a lot more time consuming to machine. Um, the reason they're more time consuming to machine is we use a directional serration on our premium slides. So directional serrations, it just means really that the backside is beveled in some way. So when you're grabbing the slide to rack it or manipulate it, you have a really aggressive surface, a really sharp surface on this side. But the back of the serration, as the slide is coming out of a holster or dragging against your gear or your clothing, it's beveled so that you have less friction because you don't want to snag on things when you're going the other direction, right? So that beveled serration is more time consuming to machine. The LFT slide also has serrations on the top. So for guys who manipulate, um, like I was a moment ago, guys who manipulate up front, those serrations like really help um, give the kind of the, the meat of your hand here behind your thumb a place to hold on to, right? So um, also you can check out the LFT slide on our website. I mean, it's got this, this uh, pocket here where grip tape goes. Um, so it's a super aggressive gripping surface in the front of the slide, really awesome. Uh, and then the, the MR918 slide also has top serrations, the, the premium ones do, the Elite model. Um, and then we've got directional serrations in these pockets. We've done something else with the MR918 that's kind of cool. So these serrations, it's hard to see probably, but these serrations are in a little pocket on the slide. So the slide feels noticeably thinner at that location. Um, you just kind of feel like you have more control on the gun, and if you have smaller hands, um, it, it really does kind of help you get a good grip on the gun. Okay, so those are the premium slides. Um, the more basic slides are over here. This is the uh, enhanced carry slide, um, and this is the, the cop slide, the combat, combat optimized pistol slide. Okay, so you'll notice both of them just have a flat cut serration, and that's pretty common. Uh, and you know across all the slides that are out there you'll see a lot of flat cut serrations This is a flat cut serration on the Glock slide. Of course, they're front and rear um, and they're also angled I'll talk about that in a minute uh, You'll feel a more aggressive surface on these slides than you would ever feel on a stock gun But they don't have that directional effect that we get on our premium slides still totally fine Sorry still totally fine. It's just a combat slide, right? 
Um, one last note, uh, so you'll notice that all the serrations on everything we do is directional, meaning, or not directional, but um, canted, whereas the, the Glock slide, of course, is very straight. Okay, um, that's not just an aesthetic thing. So when you grab a slide like this, a stock Glock slide, or anything that's got straight serrations, and you pull it back, you know, it's almost impossible to pull straight. You're always pulling up a little bit. You're pulling kind of up and back at the same time. You're never gonna, your arms don't really work like that. That's a very awkward movement. Um, certainly you're pulling a little more straight if you grab over the top, but in general, you know, there's a direction that's kind of going this way that's taking your finger off the gun, taking your hand off the gun. By making the direct the serrations canted forward, it, it helps hold your fingers on the gun. So it's almost adding a force that pulls your fingers down onto the gun and keeps them seated on the slide as you rack it. So it's a way of making sure that you're fully pulling the slide to the rear and you're not maybe like short stroking or letting go too soon because it kind of slips out of your hand. So we do that with all of them. It just adds that additional assurance that when you're grabbing the slide, you're, you're fully manipulating it as you move it. It's really not just a cosmetic thing. There's actually a lot to that. So, um, okay, so I hope that's helpful and kind of introduces the differences between our, our, our different slides um, and kind of the design characteristics of uh, the MR918 slide, which um, was really kind of the bread and butter of our, of our pistol uh, line going forward. Um, and also the combat version is, um, which is a little more basic than these elite slides we're running now, the combat version also has those directional, directional serrations that are canted forward. Um, we just have eliminated the top serrations and some of the additional machining on the slide. Okay. All right.